But here we go. Joe, stop. Hey, stop, Joe. Let's see, what did I tell you? We all have our different idea of what the perfect Christmas like, tree looks like. Lots of fun stuff. Okay. Going on today. Good morning. I'm Jennifer and welcome to A Country Life. And today we are going to be going to get our Christmas tree. The kids are super excited. It's just the day before Peter's birthday. And he just said to me this morning, Mom, I don't know if we've <laughs> ever had a Christmas tree on my birthday. And I'm pretty sure that at some point we have. But first we have to get going on school. Yesterday, um, Emily came over in the afternoon and we had actually gone in town or gone to town in the morning to do some Christmas shopping and some of the like giving tree shopping and stuff like that. And then we didn't get anything. I mean, I don't think we did any school yesterday. Well, older kids did, but these three little ones did not. We did do reading before we even left in the morning. That's true. We did do I reading. remember I did that. Oh yeah, you did the clock stuff too. Okay, never mind. Peter did actually do some of his telling time yesterday and things like that. But this morning we're going to sit down here. This is the state, again, of our school table. And we're going to work on some things. So Maria has, I, I tear these um, worksheets out of these great big workbooks that we get. Like I got them at Aldi, I think, a year or so ago. And I just keep tearing out like packs of pages of five or so at a time. And then she just works on them as I sit and work with um, with Joseph and Peter. So she's going to do that. But what do you want to say? And tonight we're going to decorate the tree. Yes. It's so cold. Right now it's like four below. And I think that's what I saw, four below. But it is sunny. So we're going to go and get the tree. And then we are going to kind of let it acclimate. Go in Dad's red truck, I'm definitely going in the camp. Yeah, you're not going to sit in the back today? I'm sitting no. in the back. Okay. It's so. Alright, so Peter, you need to come and work on the orange book. Not the time book today, but the orange book. Okay. Peter. Just, Just, wait, I need to... Just wait, okay. Alright, so Maria, think? we're gonna work on that. We're gonna we have to grab Joe, do some reading and do some cutting with Joe and stuff like that. And then we are going to go and do the tree. Alright, so I just came down to the basement to get out um, venison because I have four meals coming up in these um, like next 10 days or so that I'm using ground venison. And so I thought I'm gonna get it all out today, thaw it and get it all cooked up because if we're doing the Christmas tree <laughs> and we're decorating, I might as well do some cooking too, right? I know that sounds crazy. And guess what? Okay, I cannot do this one handed. But I came down here, I'm like, why is it wet? Why is there like wetness coming down the basement steps? And it's because the hot tub is getting moved to the basement. That is just seems like the most redneck thing I've ever, ever heard of. And that's my life. All right, so this is my meal plan for the month. I think I said I was gonna share the link and I've forgotten to. So actually I'm gonna go to the community tab right now and I'm gonna share that link. So if you haven't seen it, um, before this video comes out, then definitely scroll down and there will be a link to that. So we did that meal and that meal. We did that. We did that meal. We did that one. We did not do the cracked chicken. I don't remember what had come up with that. We did that and yes. Okay. So I'm just a little bit behind. We've had a couple nights where we had like leftovers and then I did have of course pizza in the freezer and that got cooked up one night when I was gone and someone else made supper. So however, so let's see today. Um, mm, I thought we were going to do venison tips and gravy today. I don't know if that's going to work. Well, I'm going to have to kind of make a plan here. I did get out the hamburger, which is going to be for hug and kiss soup later this week and chili for next week and taco salad for the week after and also tater tot casserole. So if I get all of that meat cooked up, I can just kind of uh, divide that up and pop that into the freezer. And then on the day that I want to make those, I can pull it out. We'll see. Otherwise, maybe I'll even have time to get some of those things made up. No, I won't. I know I won't. We're going to be, we have to do the Christmas tree today. So I think I will just cook up the meat and throw it in the freezer. At least it will be ready to go. And we may end up doing the hug and kiss soup today since I don't have the venison tips and gravy out. I don't know. I will. <laughs> this makes me laugh. Well, I will. 
I know. There it goes into the basement. And down it goes. Honestly, though, that hot tub was one of the best purchases that we made this last spring. We have yes, had so was. much fun with it. And um, we, I, I, I do want to say, though, that we do hair some... Hair. Your hair looks great. Okay. We do, or we have had a couple times, more than a couple, where the heater will just turn off on its own, and we're not really sure if it's because, you know, we're getting, like, some kind of power surge. I mean, sometimes our electricity will flicker out here um, in the country, but I don't really know what it is. But we have had a couple times where, like, at noon we saw that it was registering 104, and then 4 o'clock, you're kind of like, you go out to look at it just to make sure, and it turned off, and it was down to 99. So then you have to turn it back on, wait for it to heat up. So that's the only thing that I would have to say, but like, I don't know if it's because, yes, Peter's reading the picnic right now. So I don't really know if it's because, oh, no. like I said, we're getting a power okay. surge or if it's just because like it, it costs $300 for a hot tub. I don't really know, but that's been the only thing that I would say that we didn't really like about it is that when it just sometimes turns off on its own. But otherwise, it's been a great purchase. We love it. All right, so I just kind of snuck away because, oh my gosh, this is what our bedroom is starting to look like. And that's just one spot. There's another spot. It's just getting overrun. And tomorrow is Peter's birthday. And so I had to sneak away because I was like, you know what? I gotta get some presents wrapped. And so they're playing. He got a birthday present in the mail today. And it's a Lego set. So he's set all day long. He's not gonna be, uh, um, you know, up my um, all day because he's happy with his new Lego set. And um, we still need to get the tree. It's 1.35. We thought we were going to go even before lunch, but it has been a crazy, crazy homeschooling day. Been doing lots of chemistry with Amber. She was really struggling with like moles and um, Avogadro's number, stuff like that. So I had to kind of freshen up my <laughs> my memory on on the conversions when it comes to that. So we were working on that. And then we had to do like 10 different problems um, with that. So that took a little bit of time. I was doing easy grammar with Sam and I just found out that there's uh, some things that he just absolutely doesn't know. And so we had to spend plenty of time doing that, which took up a lot of time today. And then just reading with Peter, he's starting to get into books that are a little bit more complicated. And so that, of course, takes more time because the books are longer. So instead of sitting down and reading three books in like 15 minutes or, or less, now it's, you know, 35 minutes or something like that. So that just takes time. And the phone has been ringing off the hook. Uh, Nick, like I told you, I think yesterday in yesterday's video, I told you that Nick was having some uh, truck troubles. And so, of course, you know, he's calling on dad. And uh, so we've just had lots and lots of phone tag going on there. But I have to wrap presents. So, yes, hallelujah, I had a pair of scissors. This is no small feat, guys. If you have kids, you totally get it. There are never any scissors around. But I remembered that I had stashed away some Dollar Tree stuff, I mean, probably a year ago already, and I grabbed these scissors out, so I was so happy. Here's, here's my wrapping paper. I got that piece. And then I've got this. <laughs> so this is going to be interesting, but I'm going to try to wrap up something anyway. And I can show you what he's getting, or at least a couple of his presents for what that he's getting, because he this video won't be up until after his birthday. Peter has been asking for a long, long time for a my pillow. Warren and I both have my pillows, and um, Warren wanted to get a new one because he wanted like the stiffer level. So we ordered two new pillows, and I took Warren's, and Warren got a new stiff one, and we did get Peter uh, a stiff one as well, a little bit stiffer. He's going to be so thrilled. I know that's so funny, eight-year-old boy, but that is what he's been asking for for so long. And then last year, I think it was for Christmas, or was it the year before already? I, I can't remember now. But anyway, he got one of these uh, tracks, one of these car tracks. I will insert a picture right now. Okay. 
uh, so that you guys can see what the track looks like. And the cars that came with the track have since, you know, stopped working. Um, and so, because what happens is if you run these cars on carpeting, they do sometimes get hair wound around their um, axles and then they just don't work as well. He loves that track and he's just been playing with it with regular cars, but I saw these at Amazon. These take batteries and then they actually light up, so they're kind of like a clear uh, car and then they have little LED lights in them, so I thought he's going to love these. And it's, I love getting them toys that they can play with, like with an existing toy that they already have and since he loves that track um i just got him some new cars and i just want to tell you guys i mean i'm not trying to like get you to buy things or whatever but if you are searching for a track that does not involve mom always having to set it up and tape it to the wall like all those hot wheels tracks definitely get one of these tracks because once it's it kind of comes all in these like chunks of pieces and you just pop them together and then they can drag it around the house and set it up however they want they can set it so it moves over like a pile of books or they can stuff a towel underneath it to make a little hill whatever but it's so so nice and mom I mean not that I don't want to get involved with my kids but I don't really like building racetracks so anyway okay I talked a lot so I'm going to try to wrap these two presents and then he does have a couple other things because in our house, when you turn eight, you get a hatchet. So I'm super, super excited to get uh, uh, to give that to him. Warren actually has that out in the shop right now. And then he has one more gift too, and that is, oh, and as the title of my channel suggests, A Country Life, one of the things that we do is trap. And, um, and so it's not something I talk about a lot in here because it's very, very controversial. But nonetheless, it is something that we do. And Peter loves trapping. He loves trapping muskrats. He feels like he's so important when he's trapping muskrats because he knows that they can dig uh, through the dikes on the cranberry marsh. They let all the water go. Um, you know, they can just really, really, really cause problems. Uh-oh. <laughs> Kids are playing pool in the basement, I think, and they're getting a little bit heated. But um, yeah, he just feels like so important when he gets to trap because he feels like he's really doing something that is important for dad. So he's getting a couple new traps Warren has to actually uh, like dip those you have to dip them in I don't know some kind of black paint or black something or another so Warren has to do that and then those have to dry <laughs> before tomorrow and we have to get those wrapped so that's what's happening right now I gotta get moving okay I'm pretty sure that this was the worst wrapping job I've ever done <laughs> I just had to like cut this one piece apart and um piecemeal it all together. Actually, you can't even tell when I look through the, cam the camera screen, so it's good to go. Peter's not going to care. We got two of them done. Two more to go for him. Hey, Joe. You ready to get the Christmas tree? Uh, Are you ready to get the Christmas tree? Yes. Yes? How cold is it out here? Freezing. <laughs> it is freezing. Uh, we got to take a moment and stop and look at Look at our holy family, right? Look at Jesus. You going in there for what? That was a tiny bit. smile. Oh, you're going to smile in there? You want your picture taken? Yeah. With Joseph? Joseph and Joseph? Yes. Okay, just wait. Oh, that was smart. Yeah. That was very it. smart. Yeah, see? Isn't that smart? Got Sam's like got on his goggles. Three pairs yeah, of goggles, see? so I was going to I can't see. throw a pair on. I Might as well. See? What do you want to see, honey? Uh, Joe. Joe's picture is on here someplace. <gasps> okay. Here they come. I think Dad went to get the mail. No, he must not have. I don't know what he went to do. But here we go. <gasps> Joe, stop. Hey, stop, Joe. Okay, let's hop in. Oh, thank you. This is probably the thing Joe, that we argue hey. about most. Hey, Joe. Is the Christmas tree. Argue? Who? Not you and me, no, but I just mean as a family, you know. You know what I mean, as a family? <laughs> yeah, everyone needs to come inside, okay? Everybody needs to come inside. Joe, come on in. Come on, guys. It's too cold to ride in the back today. Yeah. It's single digits right now. You need to be inside the truck. Come on, Joe. Colin, hurry, hurry. All right, we got to get this oh, yeah, tree picked out. You look great. 
we gotta get this tree picked out and get back and get Peter ready for religious ed. And I guess Sam for driver's ed too. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. My hat just twisted funny, but it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, so. You look good. Yeah, thank you. You got the saws and everything? I thought you brought them. I didn't bring the saws. Yeah, but Dad got the saws. <laughs> of course he and does. I, and if the tree is. Of course down, not! I'll find another tree. Of course I get not! To cut it down. You get to cut it down? Of course not! I can't wait. Of course not! Okay, so Warren has already scoped out a few trees, he said. He scoped out a white pine and a red pine and a jack pine. And a spruce. Oh, and a spruce too. Oh, so the spruce. No, we the usually get spruce. We have had a white pine once. Oh, and spruce. The spruce <laughs> isn't as awesome as it's been other years. I think there's some awesome spruce up by Emily's deer stand, but that will be a hike. Yeah, and it's really cold, so. So, my thought was, if we want to do something different for a change. <laughs> uh, I want different. Let's see, I got a, I had a white pine picked out. I think it's yeah, down here. It's a little thin. I know, I know. It's working with me here. Hey, I there's some turkeys up there. Uh, oh, sure. You know, I don't, don't have my gun. There's some okay, turkeys, right there. yep, they're way that, up there. That white pine right there, see it? Right okay. Oh, well, well that's see, not bad, is it? Enough. Yeah, because I thought that you know it's a little more open, Which but one? it. Right here. The I'll one that's like, yeah, Dad will go stand yeah, by it. I just thought that. Joe, open stop this opening the door. Would uh, give us room for ornaments, stop. and yep. then you would just not put anything stop. right out with the needle, so you would have the greenery with the ornaments go more towards the center. Stop. Okay. He's really thought about this. Stop. Hey. I don't want white pine. I don't. We did white pine last year and I hated it. Okay, so that's the one that Warren's looking at. Okay. I think we need to keep looking. We might come back to it. Stop. I think we should keep looking, but maybe come back to it. Alright. Oh, yeah. turkey. No, I left. I had I to know. take it out to make room for you guys. <laughs> that's okay though. And it's still, still turkey season. Yep. So now the red pine that I found is around here somewhere. Uh, is it one of those back in there? This big one here. We'd have to take. Oh my gosh! Is that it? No, that one. That can't split. be it. No, it's That's oh, there it is, right there. Okay. Oh, I this one right over here. Okay, Dad's gonna go stand. Wait. That one right there. I... Okay. Way so he's open. looking at that one over there. It looks a little stiffer. I like that, that it looks like it would... Well, look, there's like a foot and a half gap in between branches. Yeah. I find the needles go all the way down the branches. Mm -hmm. I just thought it would... That's kind of my favorite. Girl. Just because it's completely different than anything we've ever done. I think it's so tall, though, we'd have to take that top portion, and I don't think there's much to it up top. Well, I yeah, guess I, I thought the openness would be something a little more different. I mean, yeah, we take the top six and a half, seven feet. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I liked it. Anyway, I think that maple tree is hurting the shape of it at all. You don't think so? Well, I guess I don't have to get out. We no, we it. can see it. So, huh. I thought that one was quite large. I mean, when you get it in the house, it's gonna look huge. Uh huh. I mean, right here it looks like it's about eight feet in diameter at the base. Yeah, maybe so. Stop. Okay. Yeah, so. hatch trimmer just hold. Oh. I figured we'd have There's to go gonna up, be a and lot of water up and trudge the woods. <laughs> well, there will be a lot of water, but hopefully most of it's frozen. Like and you guys are light enough, you should be able to go right across. And no problem. Maybe. You don't like so any far. of them so far. <laughs> oh, I like oh. that last See, one. what did I tell you? We all have our different idea of what the perfect Christmas like, tree is. I like that last one. Like one? Oh, gosh. <coughs> one. Oh. The second spruce I thought one. was kind of nice. That had some one. promise to it. We, we couldn't do it. The second we spruce? The second spruce, it. yeah. Oh, I thought that it was terrible. The, the second <laughs> spruce has a nice shape, but it's very open. Yeah, I guess that's what I thought. It had a really pretty shape. Alright, so I guess now it's to the upper pond and 
trudge around. So we're going to get out on the warm truck and see Ice what we can find. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, when it's single digits, you'll make up your mind real quick. Great. Real quick. And knowing mom, it won't happen then. It won't happen real quick. Thanks. No, just you take your time with everything. Be coyote. They're a little big for fox, Whoops. but they're a little small for coyote. Mm -hmm. oh, otter, right there. otter tracks right there? Yeah. Oh boy. Oh dear. Yeah, oh dear. I think the same thing, Joe. Yeah. Here, Joe. That didn't help anything to break that off. <laughs> I'm scared. You're scared? Yeah. Sam's got you. Walk on here. Yep. Walk on the board. Do not walk off. Walk on the board. <laughs> We all did it. <laughs> Okay, yeah. oh, it is bare, isn't it? Well, it should be. It's, no, it's, really it's so pretty, though. Well, that could, that, could that be, like, just towards the window side? Yeah. Because look at how pretty it is on this side. Yeah. I don't know, we can make that work, I feel like. Oh, I, I like that one a lot. It's tall. Well, let's keep looking. How about the super, super tall one? Yeah, and, I was just going to say, that's and super, then super just tall take right the, here. And then just take the uh, top. But it's such a, such a beautiful tree. It is such a big beautiful tree. Oh, cut that. No, I don't want to yeah. cut that one. You want to cut that one? Okay. If we're good, no. you could do that. Yes. Keep going, Joe. You're doing it. Ouch. <laughs> Keep going. Now, Dad just pointed out this one he thought looked kind of nice. Oh, that one. Okay, you're doing it, Joe. I'm not going to that. E for dusty. Yes, go. Dad wants us to look at this one. Yes. Oh. Oh, Don't fall. Oh. Holy ball. Oh gosh, Joseph. <laughs> Yo, you're gonna get snowed on your boot. This is nice on all sides. Oh yeah. A little bit open here, but a little bit open right oh, there, oh, but that's oh, okay oh. if we put that towards the back. To that's a spot for presents, like taller presents. Yeah. Now, here's something else you gotta think about. I'm going to stand next to it. 
I'm 6'1". It's so gonna be just perfect. We're gonna have to cut a little bit off. But we can cut a little off the bottom and then we yep. can just trim down the, yep. the point. We to trim down the top anyway to fit the star. So right, exactly, to one? nestle it in. Yeah, let's go with it. You like this one, Maria? Yeah. Good. I think we actually found one we agree on. Right here. Okay. Oh. Right here? Yeah, right here? Yeah. Nice going, Peter. Oh. Oh. Joseph, back up. That way you don't get Back up. Keep going, Peter. You got this, buddy. Keep going, keep going. Timber! Timber. Come on, I gotta cut all the way through. Timber! Timber Pokemon! <laughs> there it is. Sam's got it. Sam, you're the official tree carrier. I like it. There we go. I love it. And I cut it down. Nice job, Peter. Oh, Charlie Brown tree! Oh, that's Charlie Brown. Wow. How's that going there, Sam? Okay, so the tree's in the house, and of course, <laughs> oh, Amber already has opinions about <laughs> the tree and the lights. I'm thinking that I want to do green and white lights on the tree this year, so I don't know. I think just white. Would just be fine white. With a very colorful ornaments and. Um, Maybe like a garland or something. Ooh, a garland. I don't know if we've ever done garland. I like it all, so it doesn't matter to me. Right. So earlier today, right, I just couldn't find my other pack of um, venison stew meat. So then after lunch, I went down and kind of rearranged the whole uh, one of our big freezers, and I found a pack of stew meat. So now I have like a nearly thawed pack of stew meat and a not quite thawed pack of stew meat. And I want to make something in the Instant Pot just to give that a try because originally I was going to do this in the crock pot. But I pulled out the, I pulled out, mine is an Alec Holmes. I have no idea if it's any better or worse than an Instant Pot brand. It was sent to me for free, and so I'm going to use it. So the recipe that I'm going to use, I found on the Taste of Home website, and it's just called um, like beef tips and gravy in an Instant Pot. So I need, I'm doubling the recipe since I have two, a little bit over two pounds of meat. So I need to make some beef broth. I'm just going to use um, uh, beef bouillon cubes, two onions. For the salt, I'm substituting in garlic pepper. This is actually just kind of a garlic pepper and salt combination. I just think it's going to add a little bit extra flavor. Uh, I'll be using Worcestershire sauce. I am going to use the saute mode on here and saute up the meat with a little olive oil first. And then, of course, uh, the recipe calls for a dry white or dry red wine. I don't have that, but I have a little bit of this pumpkin wine left. So it only calls for a third of a cup, or actually two thirds of a cup in my case. And so I'm just going to use that. I think it's going to be just fine. And then you thicken it with cornstarch at the very um. end. So that's what I am going to be working on. I just want to get this stuff cut up right now. It is only 3:30. And, you know, this claims that it's supposed to be done in like 30 minutes or, or less. So I do have some time to work that through. Warren just brought in one of Peter's presents. So we got him this trapping basket. This is a basket that uh, you put all your trap supplies in and then you wear it over your, um, wear it on your back. And then he did put in there some traps. We've got some, are those double long springs or what are those? Okay, he'll get them up. Yeah. Thing you have a special have. thing? Okay, what do you want to show? Card. Oh, how nice. Okay. He's going to love that. So a trap setter? A trap setter. And then this helps when kids are little and so they don't um, snap their fingers. So we have one kind of bear trap. Super cool. Oh, they're really warm. Why are they so warm? Because I painted them and put them in front of the heater in the shop. Oh, okay. This is a number one stop loss. Uh-huh. And then... We got a number one double long double spring. spring. And another. Don't tell him this, Maria, okay? Double one. Ouch. Oh my gosh, he's going to love that. Double long spring. So he's got four traps of his own. He's going to love that so much. So I, was just telling every, I was just telling everyone that he just like totally feels so important when he traps muskrats because oh, sure. then, um, you know, he feels like he's doing something helpful for you. So Absolutely. this is so exciting. 
This, this is going to be fun. This is going to be super fun. this too? Mm hmm Yep. That's his pack basket. So I did all my sauteing and I put the, I, you know, took all the meat out and then I added the wine to let it kind of loosen up. There wasn't much for bits uh, browned onto the bottom, but I did what it said. I need to hit cancel now. And I have the meat back in there. I'm going to throw in the onions, the Worcestershire sauce, the water, and, um, you know, I'm kind of going to make stock just out of four of these beef bouillon cubes. And I think I need four cups of water. So I'm going to put all of that in here and set it to high pressure. And I guess just let it do its thing. Venison tends to be just slightly tougher than beef. So I did set it for 18 minutes. And then it said pressure level to do manual to high. So I pressed pressure level. And then I think I just had to press the pressure level a couple times. And that just brought it up to high. It should be building pressure if I understand right now and then it will start to actually pressure cook once it's um, built up its pressure. You do have to make sure that you have the pressure valve in the locked pressure position. I also have cooking uh, eight pounds of venison burger for all of the ground venison recipes that I have coming up. Nothing that's, uh, you know, nothing new just the standbys be doing hug and kiss soup chili tacos and tater tot casserole so this is just working on cooking right here over here i do have some uh, potatoes going for tonight's supper because we are going to serve this over the over mashed potatoes so i need to kind of keep this moving along i do have to leave in about 10 minutes <laughs> to go pick up peter so um and sam from all of their uh um, what do they have? Peter has religious ed and Sam has driver's ed, so I do have to go and I'll leave in just a short time. So I am hoping that this does what it's supposed to do so I know it's actually cooking while I leave. Warren's going to be home doing paperwork, so he's going to be here. He'll kind of uh, manage some of this as well for me too. So what do you guys think? Is one stick of butter too much <laughs> for these potatoes? I don't know. We like buttery mashed potatoes, so I'm just going to go with it. The pressure cooker is still coming up to pressure. I don't know how long this is going to take. Um, I know that some of you who use your like instant pots and things like that are probably talking to the <laughs> um, you're probably talking to the video right now, going, "Okay, it's going to take this long, Jennifer," or "Oh, don't worry, it's going to do what it's doing." Or you might be saying, um, "I think you're doing it wrong." Well, however, I can't hear you guys now, so I'm just doing what I think I need to do. All right, so. Um, things are going well. This was just venting for probably the last minute or so and so I think that means that it's building up pressure. I mean I'm just going on you know, like a pressure canner. That's basically what happens once it gets hot enough. Steam starts to vent out. Then once the steam uh, you know kind of like comes out and it's built up enough pressure then you have to put a weight on it. This automatically does that um, you know kind of like locking or whatever and so I think it should be building up pressure right now. Okay, so I was right. Now it says um, whatever the PO, but that's just pressure, and it's at 17 minutes. So it built up the pressure. Everything looks good on this. It just is going to cook. I had it set for 18 minutes. It's already down to 17, and then I'm just going to let it actually do a slow release. The recipe says quick release, but I'm going to let it do a slow release just because I'll be gone picking up kids. So that's really it. Okay, so I'm back home from picking everybody up. We did pick up some Christmas tree lights since we were in town as well because we just didn't have what we wanted, I guess, for this year. So we did that. So now I'm just back at the electric pressure cooker. I opened it up and I just have to kind of bring this to a boil so I can see it starting. I have my cornstarch water going over here. Yeah, I made a really big mess when I was shaking it, but... Um, I've got my cornstarch water here. I'm just going to wait for this to come to a boil and then add the cornstarch water. That's going to thicken this up, make a nice gravy. I should test it. Oh, flavor seems, seems to be nice and just right, like a salty, but not, not too much. I do think I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. Okay, so I just added in the cornstarch water and I just stirred it until it got nice and thick. So far, this seems to be working really well. I mean, it's it's easy enough to do. Um, you know, of course, I was a little bit confused there for a few minutes when it was uh, coming up to pressure. I didn't know what that little 
flashing light mint, but we got that figured out. Over here I have a couple jars of green beans going and I think that's going to be it. Warren mashed up the potatoes, so we are going to be set. Oh, it looks like he's just adding. More milk in. Yeah, I said I think they were a little bit dry still, so he had a little more milk. The gravy is so hot <laughs> that even though the potatoes have cooled down some, uh, that's not going to be a problem because it'll help with the gravy, cooling the gravy off a bit. So that's going to be our supper here on this um, Christmas tree getting day. <laughs> So I just wanted to stop in and give you guys some thoughts on it, the venison tips recipe. And I thought it was really, really good. It made a lot of gravy, um, which was good. We liked the mashed potatoes, so it, but it did make plenty of gravy. Um, I did use garlic salt and pepper instead of the regular salt that the recipe called for. Otherwise, I think I pretty much um, did the recipe just like it said, and it was very, very good. I am glad that I did the extra three minutes of the pressure cook time. The venison was so, so tender, and I thought it had great flavor. Warren did pepper it to death <laughs> like he normally does. Here's all that hamburger. I'm going to get this um, just packaged up into four... I think either Ziploc bags or something. I don't know what I'm going to use yet. Just a second, Peter. I'm going to package this up, and then it's time to get these kids <laughs> into bed. It's Peter's birthday in the morning. I have something to tell you. And you have to be in bed within 30 minutes, and I we want to do a little reading, too. So i got to get this in the freezer. And as far as the tree goes, we'll be moving that into the house maybe yet tonight or tomorrow, and we'll have to get the decorations on tomorrow. So that will be another vlog. You guys have a great night, and thanks for always watching.